Hey, what's up, everybody? How's it going? How's everybody doing today? Welcome back. So for today's video, we're talking about a very, very small movie that is called Madness and the Method. And I believe it's only available on streaming right now. It might be in a couple of theaters, but I'm not 100% sure. And rightly or wrongly, I'm going to take a wild stab in the dark and assume that most movie-going audiences probably won't know what the hell this movie is for or what it's about or who it's for, which is kind of understandable because this is a very, very, very particular movie for a very, very particular audience. And I am a part of that particular audience because I am a gigantic Kevin Smith fan, and this movie was directed by Jason Mewes, who is his ever-present sidekick. And the basic plot of the movie, it's essentially about Jason Mewes. He plays himself, but it's a very, very over-fictionalized, kind of caricaturized version of himself. And the same thing goes for the majority of the characters in the movie. But Jason Mewes constantly gets typecasted as kind of the stoner best friend, so he purchases this book on method acting. And in the process of him reading that book, a whole bunch of crazy, bloody, gory misadventures end up happening. And I would have to say that, in a nutshell, this movie is an obscenely, like, over-amplified look into the mind of Jason Mewes. But it's also very, very fictionalized, it's very fantastical, and it's also really over the top. And in all actuality, it's not a very well-made movie. It's It felt like it was hastily thrown together. It's a little bit sloppy, it's a little bit clumsy. But also, like Jason Mewes himself, it, you can tell that there was a lot of effort and there was a lot of heart put into this project, and it also made me laugh really, really hard occasionally. Like, you can tell that Jason Mewes tried to phone in a favor from every one of his friends that he possibly could. And I'm serious when I say that, because Vinnie Jones is in the movie, Danny Trejo is in the movie, and also, it was really, really nice. I, you got to see Stan Lee in the movie. Also, Gina Carano's in the movie, and Casper Van Dien from Starship Troopers is in the movie, and for any of you that watch movie podcasts, uh, Roxy Stryer's in the movie, and I thought that was kind of cool. And the movie's got a lot of personality, and the movie is also oddly very, very self-aware. Because every once in a while, the movie just seems like kind of a stroke job for Jason Mewes and his past and, like, the career he's had thus far. But then at the same token, either his character or some other character will find a way to, like, sh** on him somehow. So it's like he's kind of embracing both the good things and the bad things about himself all in one movie. So in that respect, the movie is incredibly self-absorbed, but again, it's, I feel like it's coming from a good place. But again, if you're not a Kevin Smith fan, I feel like there's a lot of humor in this movie that you're probably not going to understand, because there's a lot of jokes that are directed at the Clerks movie, like Brian O'Halloran is in the movie, and they use some of the lines from that movie very often. So if you haven't seen any movies by Kevin Smith from the 90s, you're probably going to be lost on a lot of the humor. And this is overall, in my opinion, it's just a very, very, very glorified B movie. But I also have a sneaking suspicion that Jason Mewes, he really, I don't know if he was going for something that was universally likable. I think this was kind of like a very, very self therapy session for him that is just full of all this blatant creativity. But as much of a B-movie as this is, like, I really, I, I felt the heart and I felt the effort go into it. So as much as I'd like to give this movie a score, I feel like I'm very, very connected to a lot of the source material that gets referenced in the movie, so I don't know, I, I don't know how fair that is. But if you're a fan of Jason Mewes or you're a fan of Kevin Smith, I feel like this movie is probably worth a watch. You're gonna understand a lot of the humor and it might be a fun time for you, I don't know. But it's like I said, the movie is not extremely well made, but I don't know if that's what they were going for, so I... J I don't know. This movie's uh, very interesting. But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Have you guys seen this movie? Have you even heard of it? What's your favorite Kevin Smith movie? Hop in the comments. Let me know what's up. Other than that, if you like this review, give me a like, subscribe, share, hit the bell, do all that other happy horse shit, and I will catch you guys next time.